today I'm going to show you how I turn my six dollar family dollar clock into a forty dollar profit when football season started I sold about 50 of these clocks this is a eagle this is a Dallas Cowboy theme which is my team I'm gonna do a Eagles one today so stay tuned so here's the clock from Family Dollar. They come in different colors. I'm going to use this one today for the Eagles theme because, because of the, um, the black background inside. So I'm going to use this one. So if you don't know how to take the clock apart, I'm going to show you that real quick. They come with four screws on the back. I'm just going to take them out. We're just going to take these little screws out here. Make sure you put them inside something that you can um, hold for later. Because we don't want to lose these screws. There's four of them here. And then we're going to pop off the top. And that's the clock itself. So we're gonna um, pull off some of these pieces very easy. Very easy, nice and simple. I'm gonna use a pair of scissors to take off the screw in the middle because we need that too. And it's not that tight, so it should be easy to take it off. Sometimes it's easy to take off. This one not. Well, we're gonna do that one over again. So, I found something else to take the screw out the middle. So we're gonna take the screw out the middle. I'm going to put these things to the side. And everything comes apart. So these are the pieces that you need to take apart for when you're going to do the clock. That's part one of what you need to do. So now, you're gonna take this and put it away and we're gonna come back to that. So, this is my frame that I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna turn it green. I'm using Wistolium, two times, you know, Hunter Green, glossy. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray paint this frame. The, clock frame and I'm going to spray paint in there because we want everything to become green so take your thing outside and spray paint it and then wait for my next part all right so I've taken it outside I've spray painted I made sure I spray paint the inside as far as the outside that's the beginning And I'm going to put my mirror, my glass back in here because I'm going to make sure it don't get broke. So we're going to put that to the side. And now we're going to start with our clock. So here's the clock. Everything is taken apart. What I did, I print out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I print out eight pictures that I want to use for the Dawkins pictures. Eight pictures of Dawkins. And then I got the 12, 3, 9, and 6. Because you need those for the clock. 12, 3, and 9, and 6. And all my pictures that I um, cut out, or at least two 2 by 2s all of them is about 2 by 2 
two by two, two by two. So I print this paper out with all the pictures that I'm gonna need for this project. And then I print out this picture, which is a six by six by four. And we're gonna need this picture. So these are the things I have cut out that I'm gonna be using for my Dawkins football theme clock. So the first thing we're gonna do with this clock is we're gonna use some, I'm using my Cricut, my Cricut piece here, and I'm gonna take out number 12. Because there's a lot of easy ways of doing things. So I'm gonna take out number 12 and I'm gonna use this number 12 for my template. Number 12 for my template. Where's my other piece? Okay, this piece, was in the middle so i would use this and i take out this piece after you take it apart and take it out nicely without ripping it up too much all right and now we're going to put this aside what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take all my pieces and i'm going to use these two as template to cut my pieces out because when I put them in the clock they need to be cut out so here is the ones I've already done and I have them all laid out of how I'm gonna be putting them in my clock so I won't be confused so what I'm doing I'm gonna trace all the pieces that I need now some of this can get a little tricky. So number 12 needs to be traced like this because 12 is the, the top number. So we're gonna trace all the pictures. Number 12 needs to be tr traced with this on top, all right? And then you need to take three, two, four pictures and trace them with the wide part on top because it's gonna get a little tricky. So that's one, we're gonna use him. Number two, make sure you don't take away too much of him. Number two, that's the second picture. And I'm gonna trace all these pictures to the way I want them. And I'm gonna use him for the top. All right, and then I can pick this one. All these gonna be number, number one, two, three. So these are gonna be number one, two, three, four. So, we're gonna number it. This is gonna be, this is the, this, this is the clock. So this is gonna be number one, number two, number 10, and number 11. That's how we're gonna do that. So, number six. We're gonna use this one for number six. And number six is where it gets tricky now because we use the top piece for, for these four things. The other four things, you have to flip them upside down. So for number three, for number three on the clock, you see it goes this way. So we're gonna leave it up top because number three needs to go that way. So let's trace number three with the wide part on top. Number three with the wide part on top. Number nine. Number nine is wide on top. So that means our number nine needs to go on top too. So we're gonna trace that up top because number nine 
needs to go up top. So now you got one, two, ten, eleven. You got um, the number twelve got to go on top, which is wide up top. You got the three, which is wide up top. You got the nine because it's facing this way. The wide part is up top. So you got the nine. Now, this is what we're going to do next. And then I put everything in order here because this is what my clock should look like because it should look like that clock. So, man, I'm gonna turn it upside down. And then I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, upside down. So these are gonna be traced it upside down. So let me do it that way. Wait a minute, that's confusing. Upside down. All right, let me just leave it like this. So these are gonna be traced upside down because, because of the, the number eight, everything starts here, and the short part is at the bottom. So now the short part goes up to the top of the face, and we're going to trace all of these. We're going to trace all of them upside down. So all these got to be traced upside down, and when I finish, all of them have to be cut out. So all of these are upside down. And you can do any team you want. I've sold 50 clocks at $40 a piece. Some of y'all might say that's too high, but when it comes to football, people will pay any amount of money for something they love. Now, even the six at the bottom needs to be upside down upside down so do y'all did y'all get it yet so you have one two three four which will be seven eight seven eight and four and five so four got to go up top four got to be upside down six got to be upside down nine got to be straight three got to be straight and twelve got to be straight so the only one basically is it nine nine okay only one basically is going to be upside down is your six. Is your six. My six. That's going to be my six. My six is upside down. My nine is this way. So the next step is to cut everything out. So I'm going to start. I'm only going to cut one out because I already have them cut out here. So just follow the, the guidelines of you of your tracing it. And I'm using cardstock, 80 pound cardstock, because it's a thicker material and it's easier to put inside the clock because it's a thicker cardboard or cardstock type of material. So I'm gonna cut all the pieces out. So I'm not gonna sit here and cut all these pieces out for y'all because I already did that. So, and I put my clock together. So let's put that aside. So for the next part is this picture that I print out that I told y'all that there's a four by six. I'm going to print that out. So this, this here came out the middle of the clock. I took it out nicely out the middle of the clock and I'm going to place it here where I want it because this is going to be the middle of the clock. So everything needs to be changed in the clock. And then you need to make sure you put your circle in there. And then you need to cut that out. So, cut this circle out. And once you cut the circle out, that's your template for the middle of your clock. Middle of your clock. That's your template. All right. So, 
that part is done. So let's put this clock together. So you already got your you got your thing painted already. It's already spray paint. You put your glass back in it. We already took the piece out the middle. It's number 12 out of there. We took everything apart. And here's your pieces because we need to put all this back together. So the next part of this clock is to now put it together. So I'm going to be using Mod Podge because Tracy likes to use Mod Podge for everything. I like to use Mod Podge for everything. I don't know why. I just like using Mod Podge because it turns out clear. So. So I got that ready. And my Mod Podge. All right. So let's put this family dollar clock together. When I did this clock, when football season came out, everybody was so excited. They wanted to know how to do it. I tried to explain. It really didn't work out. So I'm doing my tutorial today. So now we're going to put this clock back together. We're going to take this 12 and let's just put it back in there. Because we, don't, we only took two pieces out. So we want to put the pieces back in there. This one. You can put it back in there. You don't have to. Let's bend it to make sure it's on there properly. It's still sticky at the bottom. So I'm just going to put this back in there. Let's just put everything back the way it was. All right. So all my pieces here is cut out. I have my Mod Podge and my foam brush. And now we're going to put this expensive clock. Well, my $6 clock which I've sold for $40 a piece and I've sold 50 and this clock only got $6,000 from Family Dollar. Now everybody got a Family Dollar, so all y'all got to do is go to Family Dollar and get these clocks. Now make sure y'all save some clocks for other people because once they find out how easy this is and how much money you're going to make from, from this, and it don't have to be football theme. It can be anything you want, Valentine. You can do the 12 months of the baby life and put that on there you know any way you want so i'm going to start with my 12. i'm going to put some mod posh in here because i don't want to be doing all that extra and because it's it's just mod posh even if you get it on the edge it's no big deal we're just gonna put some mod posh on here mod posh don't Try it, so I'm just gonna do a few at a time and stick these pictures in. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my YouTube page, YouTube page. Make sure y'all like, send me some notifications if things you don't understand. I don't have no problem with going over it with you. Send me some messages. Hit me up on Facebook Messenger. If you're new to all this, I have a lot of patience and a lot of time. I work at night, so I'm all four days a week. So I will be able to answer all your questions. I also have my front face diva reef that I came out with. Yes, it was me that decided to do a front face diva reef. And I found the lady and she went viral. Everybody loves her face. So I'm just going to put a few in here just to get started. So we're going to do one by one by one. So I got my Mod Podge in there. Wait till y'all see how easy and nice this clock is going to turn out. All right, so I'm just going to wipe some of this excess off. So let me put the, we'll start with number 12. So we're going to put that 12 in there, stick it right on top. No big deal. Just put it in there, pressure it a little bit. We're going to do number one. Stick it in there. Simple, simple, simple. All these pieces are cut nicely. Don't worry about the Mod Podge showing up around your edges because it dries clear. So that's number two. We're going to put the three. Remember I said the wild part of number three goes on the top. 
and she stick it in there, flatten it, flatten it, flatten it. And then we're going to use this one for number 11. Now, this is the, the Dawkins because somebody asked for a Dawkins clock. And then that one clock went from one clock to 50 clocks. The Mod Podge is going to dry up so you won't see it. And um, number 10 needs to go up this way. So that's number 10. That's my number 9. I'm putting all my pieces together for my clock. All right, let's put some more glue on the rest of them. Remember, we only took two pieces off, and then we're gonna put all these pieces inside, and we're gonna just wipe off some of this excess. It's gonna dry clear, so nobody won't see it, no way. But I went to the Family Dollar, and I was like, this clock is really nice. This clock has potential to change, because I'm all about my money, I'm always, thinking of something, thinking out the box, trying to figure out what's next, what's next, so I can grab people's attention. You know, people like my things. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, on Facebook, it's under Tracy Simmons Gordon. So, I'm putting the glue in the rest of these. Y'all see my concept so far of what I've done with this clock? It's simple, it's easy. All you got to do is Get all your pictures together, find a program that you want to use to size your pictures, and, and print it out. That's all I did. I use Cricut Design Space for almost everything. I love Cricut Design Space. I use that to size all my pictures up. All right, so the clock is pretty much almost finished. So remember I said the small pieces go on top. So we're going to put number four with the small piece on top because that's where his head is at. That's a small piece. Number five. Big piece at the bottom. Small piece on top because when you're looking at the clock, when you look at it, it needs to show the people faces so you can be able to keep up with it. And then number seven. Number eight. And then all this needs to dry. You don't even have to really put no more Mosh Podge on top. If you want to give it a more glossier look, you will add some Mosh Podge on it and let it dry. But I'm not going to do that. All right, here's my number six. See how nice that clock is already? And I ain't finished yet. Let me um get this next part together. So this is the piece, the big piece that I cut out. And I, um, this is the piece with a circle it so that's a little tricky because you don't want this hole in the middle to be but so big but you still have to put it put it back together okay so i'm going to do some mod podge on here don't have to be fancy 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 just put that mod podge on there just add that mod podge everybody should have Mod Podge. When I tell you I love Mod Podge, look at all this Mod Podge I have. That's how much I love Mod Podge. <laughs> all right, let's take away some of that excess around that edge. Make sure I got enough Mod Podge in there because I need this to stick and I want it to come loose. I'm always about perfection when it comes to to my stuff because I don't want it. People be like, oh, uh, uh, nope, we're not doing that. I'm my own worst critic, and my stuff has to be perfect. So, I got my picture. I got my clock lined up. I need to make sure my picture is where it needs to be. All right. So, I got that clock in there. Don't worry about that edging. That Mod Podge is going to dry up. Nobody won't even know. They're going to look at this clock and be like, oh, my gosh. Look at that clock. All right. So I got the, everything put together. Don't it look nice so far? Y'all about to get money. Let's put this back in. And it needs to be this way. So I'm gonna put it back in that way because it needs to fit back in the groove. Put it on the table and slide it in. All right. So let's put this back together. 
because I'm finished. We got the gold piece. We're going to put that gold piece in the middle right here. And that's where it go. Let me flatten. Let me push this down some because we don't want all that showing in there. All this leftover paper showing in there. You really don't want to see much. So let's put this one there. That's that silver piece. I mean that gold piece that was in the middle of this clock. And then we're going to put this piece on top. But that's the screw, this little screw. You got to put this screw back in there. And that screw going to hold that bottom piece in. And I use this when I took it off. I'm going to use this to put it back on. It doesn't have to be tight, 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 crazy. But it has to fit. Put it back where it came from. It's falling apart. All right, so I got that piece back on. So we're going to be careful and put these pieces back on. Careful, because they're very sensitive and they break. And there's the bottom piece going top. All right, so I make mistakes too. So the bottom piece goes on the bottom. The big piece goes on top. Put it on carefully. You don't need too much pressure. And then this little thing goes on top. It fall out of my hand. So that goes on top. So that's your clock. So we need a double A battery. Let me just stick it in here. Like it says, it's ticking. Y'all hear that? Tick, tick, tick. All right. So this is the beginning part of my clock. Don't it look nice already, y'all? Y'all ready to get that money? Let's get that money. Let's do some baby clocks, some Valentine's clocks, some. Mother's Day clocks with 12 mothers. Well, whatever. So, now it's time to put the clock back together. So, I'm going to take my glass, put it on top. Don't that look pretty? That look pretty. So, I'm going to put my thing on top here. I'm going to put this here. Try to line up the screws. Put this here. It has to go in. All right, so that's not right. It gets you tricky sometimes. Put it in this way. Oh, it fit in place. So now we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to put the screws back in. Now, when it comes to these screws, When it comes to these little teeny screws and putting them back together, you have to be very careful because if you over tighten these screws, it will break. These screws are very sensitive, so you don't want to over tighten the screws. Now, mine's done fell inside where it don't belong. You know, it's always something. Come out of there. There you go. I don't know why this thing not magnetic. Alright. Just be patient with these screws. Alright. Let's put the screw back in. And you only want to tighten it tight enough. But don't let it pop. Because when you hear it pop, that means you broke it. So just tighten it enough to hold this clock together. Because these little pieces here are very 
sense to. So that's one. I don't know where the speakers go. This one, this one. Let me look back here. Let me look to make sure I know where these screws are supposed to be. Cause I got that top one in already. All right. So the next screw goes into this one. I don't think so. Uh, why is it giving me problems? That's one screw. It don't look like it fit in there. I don't understand. Like, I don't think it's, it's properly in place. That's the problem. The problem is, if you don't put it properly in place, then it's not working. It's not going to work. It has to fit in place for the fit, and this is not in place. Now, it looks like it is in place now. But I made them a lot of mistakes at the, in the beginning when I first did it. That don't even belong up there. I don't think so. So, the screws is supposed to be like this. So, the top of the clock. Where's my 12 at? We need to put it in like this. Because it's, you have to line them back up. Alright, let's line it up this way. That look better. Okay, I think I got it now. Now we can put the screws in. So we're going to put one screw in here. One in there. Get all my screws in there. Make sure that number 12 is up top. Okay, so let's tighten our screws, but not to the point to you hear go click. Once you hear crunch or uh, click, that means you broke the clock. You broke the pieces, and then there's chances that the clock may fall apart. All right, so I'm putting all the pieces back in. I put my battery in. I put everything back together. I didn't snatch all my pieces too hard. So the clock is together now. I had it lined up wrong. All right, y'all ready to see my $6 family dollar clock? We can convert it into a, a $40 clock. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This is now a Dawkins football themed clock. It can be a theme clock for anything y'all want it to be. Nice and simple and easy, not complicated. As long as you as long as you print your pictures out in a size, in a in a manly size, take a piece out of it, trace on top of it. Remember, some goes upside down because of the way the numbers is six. Between six and nine, got to come this way. Three and six, got to come that way. And um, it's very simple. I sold 50 of these clocks. I hope y'all like this DIY. Subscribe to my page for me for more DIYs. Very beautiful. That's my Eagles clock. My Dallas Cowboys clock. I did the blue 
with the blue and then I spray painted the white. I even put some stars in there. Look at that. You can't get no better than that. You can even put a diamond piece on each one of these scars. The sparkle is drawn up. Very nice. I hope y'all like my DIY. Follow and subscribe, everybody. Because I got a whole lot of ideas in my head. And if you if you friend on my Facebook page, you'll see that I've done so much already. Thank you.